Santa Barbara. Oh, yeah. Here, tell me. <laughs> I'm, re I'm recording this for my students, so tell me about the oil seeds, Bob. There's a company in Santa Barbara called SOS California. Okay. Save our seas or save our something. Yep. And their whole pitch is in 1969, they had that oil spill. Right. Uh, 80 or 90,000 gallons. Right. And ever since then, they stopped drilling off the coast. And every year, 80 to 90,000 gallons of oil seep back on the beaches. Naturally. Naturally. And an equivalent amount of natural gas goes up in the air and pollutes the air. So it's really double because of the air situation. So they formed this company, SOS California, to uh, make people aware of that, to solve the problem. So so we're, we're, we're talking about doing a little, uh, you know, project looking at the 69 oil spill. So what's what's your recollect? What, what do you remember happened in 69 with the spill? Well, they fouled the beaches and then all right, the Right, but were you, were you down there when it happened or no? No, no. The people, that, that I'm, friends of mine in Santa Barbara are all divers and right. scuba people and right, right, right. ecology people. But they want oil drilling because it will relieve the pressure and the oil spills will... But what was, I guess I'm asking, what was your initial recollection? Were you... Were you surprised at it? Did it seem like a small story? Was it a big? So you're up here in San Francisco, San Francisco Bay Area. It's a small story at the time. So yeah, small story. It didn't register up here like it did no, down no, south. No, no. So you don't think it was a big story either? No, sadly, because we're, we're pretty in tune to environmental issues, and we're surprised how dramatic it really turned out to be. I mean, I learned a lot more from you. But, than but, they're, but they're doing the wrong thing. They're, they stopped drilling. If they would start drilling again, the oil seeps would reduce and eventually stop. Right. You're talking about you would be reducing pressure on yeah. the subsurface right. reservoir right, right, right. so there wouldn't be as much stuff burbling up through the cracks and the, right, and right, the right, right. holes and seeps and stuff. Okay. So what about uh, what about since, oh, maybe, maybe this answered the question, but what about since 69? Were you happy with some of the response to what happened Maybe so sequa yeah well whatever response yeah. environmental response how about art so what what it, how did art change or did it change in response to the 69 spill sadly i don't i don't think there was a lot of artists involved in this environmental issue there should be but i think much of it is was played down by the oil industry they didn't want anybody to know what's going on anyway and only through you know scientists and, and the education departments and the awareness become available to the public. But so I thought, but, the but you have, don't think Bud Bottoms, you don't think Goo, Get Oil Out, you don't think those things were a response to the... I think other than them trying to make a, an appeal... Well, they tried to blame it all on the oil companies. Yeah. yeah. And the oil companies, if they kept drilling, would have reduced the seeps. In, in other words, the in, in 50 years, the seeps are 50 times larger than the spill. We said a lot of the boss. Well, sure. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's also the... the yeah, there's a lot there, but, you know, the, 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 the armoring of the drill bore... Thank you. Um, the USGS didn't say they had to go as, as, as armored as they should have gone to prevent the, the spill and everything, the, the failure of the fracturing of the, of the seabed and stuff. Yeah. So there was clearly changes that came in a regulatory environment because they realized, oh my gosh, we can't just let these guys do whatever and say that's fine. We need to have some kind of more oversight. But, but uh, okay, right, right, well, all right. Well, I'm rambling on. You guys are trying to say hi to people, but but I was just curious. So overall, do you think stuff is better now, post '69, in terms of say oil extraction, coastal management, or is stuff about the same, or is stuff better? What do you say? Worse, better? Much worse. And why do you think it's worse? Because they should have continued drilling the seeps that would have been gone by now. I think. So you think we should, we should have more extraction? Is what you're basically exactly. Okay. Okay.